Hey people, uh, yeah, I hope y'all do mention the fact that I need to dye my roots. Maybe that will shame me. <laughs> Maybe that will shame me enough to make me want to dye my hair. I have the dye, I just need to do it, okay? I'm just being lazy about it. Anyways, I was just getting on here to ramble and chat a bit. I never get on here and just ramble and chat, and I love to chat. I mentioned in my peacock video, my peacock tutorial, about what my man made me. And I didn't know if it was a good shot or not, and I wanted to show it again, just because I thought it was really pretty. I thought it was really sweet of my man. You can see there's a bead and then it goes down to a feather and then that's some kind of other blackish peacock, peacocky teal feather and it goes on down and it's like the length of my hair when it's in my hair and it just has a regular clip back. I think I might talk to him about making, getting something to cap that off. So you don't see like where the end of the feather is because that isn't too pretty but for his first try the first go at making one of these I think that was pretty awesome he made that one and he made this one what you see the leather through there he put the leather through that and then attached these feathers. Now I found some feathers. If I find a feather, I pick it up and keep it. I don't know why. I just find feathers to be beautiful. And yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. This winter, when we're still at my parents' house, I was walking the dogs. And we live back in the woods. And I saw these, it was like this blue chill looking thing sticking out of the trees. I was like, what is this? <laughs> so I walk over and y'all, I swear I could have reached out like I was this uh, uh, arm's length away from two, two blue jays that were, I guess they were like, they don't hibernate, but I guess they were cold, so they were just like, you know, huddled down and sleeping. And I mean, I could see the detail in their face. Their eyelids were black, and they were just sleeping there. And I was so amazed, and they weren't moving or anything. And then when my daddy, my daddy has a big diesel truck, and when he pulled up, that's when they flew away. But I had a good five minutes of just standing there and staring at, at these beautiful birds. Have y'all ever had anything in nature like that happen to y'all? Like you walk up and there's like a deer standing there or something like that. If you have, let me know, message me, comment below. I love hearing about things like that because I just think that is God saying, you know what, I love you. Or just, you know, giving you a moment of just awe and I love that and I guess that's why I love feathers um, but I thought this one was really pretty like I said you could just be wearing because it's neutral you could be wearing just about anything with this and it would go you know jeans and a t-shirt it does have a western southern kind of vibe to it but no matter what I do, I'm, I'm always going to be Southern, okay, people? Also, wanted to show y'all, uh, y'all know I'm a Christian, and we just had Easter. Praise God, that stone was rolled away, and he came back to life and said, I love y'all enough, and I'm going to save y'all from eternal hell. Praise Jesus. So, my man was sweet enough to go and get me an Easter basket because he knows I love them. Anything to do with chocolate. Anything that's going to do with chocolate, I'm going to be all about it. I will tell y'all, there was an array of candy, chocolate candy, but it is gone because I eat it. <laughs> y'all know me. If there's chocolate in there, I'm going to eat it. But there is one thing in here, chocolate, that I didn't eat. That's the basket. 
It is this beautiful chocolate egg from Frankfurt. It's milk chocolate. My favorite chocolate is dark chocolate though. I do love some dark chocolate. And it has a writing on it. I don't know if y'all can read it. It's the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And it should say on the back, and the willpower not to eat this. <laughs> but I thought that was so pretty. And I had been eyeballing it. So my man knows me. Don't it feel good when it's something you totally love and your man brings it home to you or like he just knows what you like oh I love that and then he got me I have another candle but I'm not gonna go and get it because I'm being lazy um, it's apple cinnamon it's one of my favorite smells in the fall apple cinnamon candles and, and sprays this one is peach mango take a whiff I'll let y'all smell a minute. It's just one of those mainstay, um, just like the generic um, Walmart brand. But let me tell you, these Walmart brand candles, they put out some smell, okay? You don't need to go spend no butt ton of money at Bath and Body Works or anywhere like that on candles because these smell just as good. And then he got me um, the room spray from Mainstay and vanilla it says vanilla but it smells like cake batter too so it's kind of cupcakey smelling that one right there oh it smells so pretty and then hazelnut hazelnut cream y'all smell it i would spray it for y'all but angel is in here and if y'all didn't know, my child, Angel, has asthma. She just had to go for another shot. If y'all would keep her in y'all's prayers because this is the second time I've had to go to the doctor. And, you know, they don't make inhalers for cats or anything like, because I use a breathing machine or I use an inhaler when my breathing goes bad. Well, when her breathing goes bad, I have to take her to the doctor. I have to take her up there. So there's nothing that I can give her at home. <sighs> Anyways. So yeah, that's, that's some stuff my man made. And I was wanting to know, if y'all saw this like on an Etsy shop or something, would y'all be interested? Would y'all want to buy this? And how much would you be willing to pay for something like this? I've seen, I've seen similar stuff like this in stores, maybe with not as many feathers or the length, but similar. I showed my man the feather extensions. Well, I wasn't wanting like a shaved down, because I realized they're sh like shaved down feathers like the thin thing in your hair. I didn't want that. I wanted the full, I wanted the whole shebang shebang. So he was like, let me go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and he came back home with these feathers. And we always have a plethora of art stuff and craft stuff. And we had some beads and stuff like that. So he just, hooked it all together and he made these two and like I said he made one for um, his friend Val at, at work she's uh, Native American and made her like they're fake eagle feathers so y'all don't go off the chain on me um, they're, they're they look like eagle feathers and they tie around her braids and if he gets a picture of that I will put it up but um so yeah I did that. Oh, also. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Also, I wanted to tell y'all, if you pray, keep me in your prayers because I filled out an application uh, online with Home Depot Distribution where my man works. 
So I'm praying that I get this job because I will be working the same hours. We won't be working together, together. So that's good. I know we need some space. You know, you don't need to be like always with your partner because you'll get like totally sick of them. I know this. I've been there, done that one. But um, what I'll be doing is just scanning the boxes and like counting and, uh, you know, accounting for them and making sure that the right count is there, basically. And um, the pay is good. Benefits are there. Start out as part time and then can go to full time later on. So I really want it, y'all. I really, really want it. So if you pray, please pray for me for that. I would love it. Oh, also, my nails. I don't know if you can see. They might show up looking black, but really they're a deep teal. Um. I painted them with Wet n Wild's um, Morbid. Then I put Hard Candies. Uh, it's it's a nail polish that makes it flat. I know I've showed it on one of my haul videos, but it makes it go flat. And I thought that was an interesting kind of texture because most fingernail polishes are shiny. So I thought that was really cool. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to tell y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, if there's anything y'all would like to share with me or if y'all have an Etsy shop, um, I, I'm still not sure how it works. Like I know we would need to make enough of these to have you know so if people ordered we'd have enough um i've only went to etsy a few times so just let me know what y'all think and if there's anything y'all want me to pray for y'all about let me know and yeah thank y'all thank y'all so much for watching thank y'all for giving me way over a thousand subscribers like I say, even if there was one of y'all, I would still be doing this just because it's so much fun. Um, and if there's any uh, requests that you have, anything you would like me to do, send it my way. If you have a picture, that would be great. But if not, if you can describe it, that would be good too. And yeah, that's all I can think of right now. I just wanted to chit chat. All right. Peace out.